Do you dream of becoming a top tier assassin? In games, of course. Well, if you're anything like me and you're about as stealthy as an elephant tap dancing through a wind chime store, then playing games like Hitman may be a little daunting. However, Hitman has just released a new game mode called Freelancer in January this year. So I wanted to know, is there any point in gamers like us giving this game a go? Is there any fun? Uh, will we get anywhere or will we just smash our face through the screen repeatedly? First, here's a little bit about the game mode. Hitman Freelancer is their version of a stealth roguelike. Basically, you have a campaign that you work through and if you fail the mission, then the campaign resets just like in a roguelike. Which makes the game harder in some ways, but in other ways takes the pressure off. Because we know in roguelikes you're supposed to fail. So having that excuse to fall back on it's a roguelike, I'm supposed to fail, takes the pressure off a little bit, I think. Now essentially Hitman Freelancer is the same game as Hitman. Uh, you go into levels, you have a target to kill, or several targets to kill, and you do that in any way you see fit. You set traps, you slip them over bananas, you, you know, garrot them from behind, whatever. Then you have to exfil from the level, and then you get XP. The difference is, in the Freelancer mode, if you fail, that's it, game over, thanks for playing. Although I say that, there's different stages. So you see here at the bottom of the screen, the uh, little boxes, the smaller boxes, you can technically fail those. In the classic Hitman game, you'd obviously be able to load back into the level and try it again. In this one, you can't, that's it. That one, you're done. You failed it, unlucky. But it doesn't fail the campaign. If you fail the showdowns, which are these bigger boxes here, then that's when the game ends. Over, dust it off. Chalk it up to experience. You start the campaign from scratch. The drawback for failing these smaller missions is you put the syndicate, the bad guys, on high alert for your next mission. So there's drawbacks. Also, if you get found out and shot in the head, then you lose everything you went in the level with. Again, like a roguelite. So you may be thinking, wait, this sounds a lot harder than a normal game. How can this be fun for a beginner like me? Well, the answer is it depends who you are. Look deep inside yourself and say, can I really put up with failing over and over again? If the answer is no, then the game's not for you. But if the answer is yes, I love that kind of thing, then I would say give Hitman Freelancer a go. As I say, I am no stealth expert, Metal Gear Solid, all those kind of games, Hitmans, I've never really played them, but I gave this one a go, and you know what? It's fun. I failed, repeatedly. But the missions I actually succeeded in, it felt good. And like I say, the whole fact that you can fail at any point and just start from scratch, it's kind of satisfying. And as I said before, it takes the pressure off a little bit. With the normal game, I feel like if there's a mission or a level that you just can't get past, then that's it, you're stuck really, you know. There's one thing repeating a level over and over again and not being able to pass it, but going into a level once and failing it, and then yeah, okay, failing the whole campaign, but then you get to go in a different level against a different target. It mixes it up, it keeps it fresh. So I think Hitman Freelancer mode is much better, really, personally, especially for us beginners, because people will say Hitman Freelancer is so much harder, which, okay, it is, but I think for beginners, I think it's almost the perfect mode to, to start on. I mean, argue away in the comments, be my guest, but if you agree with me, let, let us know, let us know. I would say a few beginner tips is your focus mode, you know, where you can see the outline of people and whether or not they're uh, suspicious of you, is your friend in this game. You almost want to play it in that mode. Also, distracting people, luring people is a big must in this game. You know, you might want to blow people up with uh, propane tanks or crush them under chandeliers or, you know, I don't know, electrify them, which you can get to later. But to start with, your best friend is like Coke cans, and like bottles and things like that that you can throw and distract people, lure them away from other people or from crowds of people, I should say. And then just, you know, take them out. Take them out in the quiet, leave them in a box somewhere or in a bush and then uh, get the hell out of the level, get the XP, level up, unlock things in your base uh, because there's loads of cool stuff to unlock in your base and you know you can like dress them up in any way you want as you as you level up i think that progression is what makes this mode so much better than the than the real game again you might be a die hard hitman fan and be like not die hard hitman although die hard hitman what kind of crossover film would that be 
And you might be saying you're an idiot, Baker. You don't know anything. You haven't played the other games. Hitman 2 or 1 or whatever, or Absolution or whatever the other ones were called. They're the best games. And you might be right. But for me, for a beginner, for someone who's terrible at stealth games, Hitman Freelancer is okay in my book. Now, this is just an opinion piece, you know. Um, I haven't really told you much about how you play the game. You find that out for yourself. And there's a big, like, how to play at the start of it. So, you know, it just does that better than me. But... I'm just saying, for those looking for the answer to the question, is Hitman Freelancer worth playing as a noob? My opinion, two thumbs up. Give it a go, let us know. If you like this completely useless, rambling piece of crap that we like to call a video here at Bad Videos, then hit that like button, and why not subscribe? Plus, let us know if you'd actually like to see me playing some of the game, and not just talking about it randomly. Thanks for watching, thanks for giving us your time, have a great day, and... Let us know what you think in the comments below. Peace out.